One small step for man, one giant leap for Intuitive Machines. That is the Houston-based company that is now the first private firm ever to land a spacecraft on the moon. But, of course, it did come with a little bit of drama. Absolutely. Scripps News national correspondent Clayton Sandell reports on the nerve-wracking moments before and after the touchdown. A private company just made history by landing the first commercial spacecraft on the moon ever. It's also the first U.S. lunar lander in more than half a century. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. It's the moon landing half a century in the making. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. The IM-1 mission launched seven days ago. And liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus lunar lander. A $118 million spacecraft carrying six NASA experiments to the lunar south pole. It's going to be a scout for us because next year we're going to the moon with humans. And about two years from now, we will land on the moon. The lander is built by Intuitive Machines, a private space company based in Houston. In addition to its science cargo, the 14-foot Odysseus lander, nicknamed Odie, is packing insulating fabric from sponsor Columbia Sportswear and 125 mini moon sculptures by artist Jeff Koons, the first ever authorized artwork on the surface of the moon. One giant leap for mankind. After the U.S. beat the Soviet Union to a moon landing in 1969, a few years later, we stopped going. What we didn't understand at that time is that the Apollo program was the answer to a political problem that Kennedy had. Today, the moon is a hot destination for countries and companies, but a hard one to get to. China, India, and Japan have made it, but just last month, and liftoff. A spacecraft launched by a Pittsburgh company sprang a fuel leak, later burning up in Earth's atmosphere. It's all part of a hunt for resources like water that could one day make the moon a jumping off point for Mars. If there's water, there's rocket fuel, hydrogen, and oxygen, and we could have a gas station on the South Pole of the Moon. Clayton Sandell, Scripps News, Denver.